we need to be ready for the fight tonight. This is just some sharing and idea generating, so we're bringing the best things forward. So, the two objectives why are you on what you're working on, and what do you think is the next step? Giving back to the community, teaching the community, so that's what Stop the Bleed would do. trauma surgeon at Centurion last week. Um, we already have nurses over there as well working with the ICU and the ER and I think expanding that to uh, uh, foreman in the ER and potentially some attacks to see higher acuity cases um, will be the next step. Our destination here is readiness and readiness requires case mix and complexity with all these things. The journey includes STEMI accreditation, stroke, and trauma. As we progress along that journey to trauma, every step of the way, including our entire partnerships, we're adding to that case mix complexity. We're a heavy platform command, so we should be able to augment anybody, put them on any platform, and they're going to thrive in that environment. Their clinical skills, uh, particularly trauma, so I think that's one of the things. With one step of getting Corman on the ALS rigs to uh, get more instructor trained, uh, stop the bleed, make sure the partnerships in Portsmouth and with Centera are, 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 are truly connected. Uh, so for the trauma training, it's really skill sustainment and being ready to take care of our soldiers out in the battle. My desire is that whatever we do, that we do it well and we have a strategy, we're able to implement it, we know our processes are good.